Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Marvel Legends Marvel's Vulture Wave Homemade Suit Spider-Man in four minutes or less. Marvel Legends Homemade Suit Spider-Man is a six-inch scale action figure based on his appearance in Spider-Man Homecoming. If you haven't seen it yet, don't worry, no spoilers ahead since as of this shooting, I haven't seen it yet either. So if I were to say something like, this is from the scene where Spider-Man is framed for the murder of J. Jonah Jameson, that is purely speculation or trolling on my part. On the other hand, there have been so many trailers that I feel like I've seen it. The only thing that would surprise me at this point is if Vulture turns out to be a good guy and they develop a partnership after they vow to find out who was responsible for the murder of J. Jonah Jameson. Since I haven't seen the film and can't put it into context, I can only speak about this piece as the physical action figure that it is. As a six inch Spider-Man figure, it is a breath of fresh, fun air and a collection mine that is already so overflowing with Spider-Man figures that I literally have no use for a single additional piece. But here we are. Comic book versions, animated versions, movie versions, with clothes, without clothes, big ones, little ones, there's already so many Spider-Mans. There have been like a thousand million Spider-Man figures, and most of them are some variation of his red and blue web-lined outfit with bug eyes, usually with some kind of web-slinging action, maybe a motorcycle, a water cannon, bubbles, you know, essential Spider-Man stuff. But this one is different. This one comes with two sets of interchangeable hands, punching and web shooting. Like Spider-Gwen before him, he has both hood up and hood down attachments. Unlike Spider-Gwen, he does not come with an unmasked Peter Parker head. That's packed into a two pack with Iron Man hitting shelves later this year. It's a simple figure, but so detailed from the sock texture on his legs to the metallic web shooter paint apps and the pockets on the front of his hoodie. It's more fun than it seems like at first glance. This is truly a rookie Spider-Man figure. He's got all the articulation you could want, except for maybe a butterfly joint and a toe hinge. But the collecting community is split on those anyway, so let's all just agree to let those exclusions slide. This figure represents Spider-Man at a point in his hero career where he hasn't quite mastered the art of manufacturing high-end fibers with detailed patterns, materials that can't be purchased at the fabric store because they don't exist and he can't afford them. Making his costume has always been a part of the Spider-Man origin, but this is one of the few times where you can actually look at his suit and believe believe that it was created by a teenager from stuff he had around the house. Heck, I'm practically wearing it right now and all I did was put on this hoodie that I bought from Kohl's on clearance for $10. That's like it, Kohl's. This suit in this film marks a new direction for the Spider-Man franchise, stripping away all the complicated things that have come before it. Heck, the things that have led up to this movie even happening. Tom Holland is the third actor to play the part since 2002. This is the second official reboot from scratch. He's got to fit into the established Avengers cinematic universe, but also has to be able to carry a story on his own. And as important as he is to the inclusion of Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe, it takes a lot to keep the spotlight off Tony Stark when he's in your film. It pushes against the expectations that have been built to this point to reset his place and prepare for another two, six, 17 movies. If you think you've got all the Spider-Man figures you could ever possibly need and think maybe this one looks a little too simple, then this is an easy pass. But if you love that wall crawling menace just as much as you always have and want a figure that is realistic enough to go on your MCU shelf, but still colorful enough to work with your comics based collection, then this is a must have. So buy it if you see it. And if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching, hit like, hit subscribe, share this video. Please take a moment to check out our Patreon. Link is on screen now, depending on which device you're watching this on or definitely in the description below. Let us know in the comments if you've ever thought about making a superhero costume out of stuff lying around your house to go out and fight crime. I've not only thought about it, but I went a step further and made it, but I can't show it to you just in case I decide to head out and defend the city. I don't want any of you giving away my secret identity. Cut.